All right, we are checking YouTube and verifying. Should be live on both streams. YouTube is waiting a second. YouTube is live, and you already checked sound on Twitch? Yep. All right, so we should be good to go live and on the air. Welcome, everyone, to the Foolish Tech Show. Uh, it is a Friday afternoon, and we are here mainly to provide support and answer any questions about our products and services. If you do have any of those, feel free to jump over to foolishtechshow.com, and we have a couple ways you can join our IRC chat. We'll be more than happy to interrupt whatever we're talking about and talk about that stuff instead, as well as you can join in our conversations and direct how we're going where we're going with regular random stuff if we're just doing that. Um, start off the show, uh, we have uh, two updates out. Um, one update is for Crypto Prevent. We actually released point seventeen last night and then point eighteen tonight. So Crypto Prevent Beta uh, has two updates out. Uh, the last two days. It always rolls like that. Yeah. Uh, Point 0.18 should be the one that you're getting with any copy if you open it up, as long as you don't, for some reason, have firewalls, firewall rules blocking the updates for some reason. Firewalls. Firewalls. Firewall. Firewall. But uh, you should get that with uh, the latest download, or if you up it, open your interface, and it should automatically update, but we had an issue with that, and it was fixed in 17, so you may have to download and update again, and it should go okay from there. That's why it's still beta. Exactly. But otherwise... It's like the only reason, though, right? Pretty much. is Because there could be issues where we have to fix things. Um, but update. Yeah, otherwise, uh, Michael has an update for Quick Hash. I think he has another update that we have to push out as well. Is that right, Michael? Now that you're finally back, even though you left for some... Uh, y you can you can push out the one that's uh that's uh out there. Um, I'm I'm doing some other changes that I don't really. Maybe I mean uh, maybe uh, later tonight. I mean it depends on how late you want to stay up. <laughs> I don't sure. think you should uh, just either put the one that's out there or you're gonna have to wait for me to. This is a bigger change that I'm doing right now. All right. Well, uh, we'll wait on that one. There is a new update out there. It was for that yesterday. Um. Undertaker, I will get you a link here. Um, you may need a link, Phoenix, because there may be an uh, update issue prior to point 0.17. So if you don't have point 0.17 or higher, you may have to download and reinstall again. But there's the link to get Crypto Prevent's latest version. And I'll get you the link for Quick Cash as well. Yeah, it's um, the one that's in the folder. Um... Uh, your Brantley folder is, is the newest one I feel comfortable publishing, the one dated to 12 p.m. today. All right. Uh, Phoenix, if you have point 0.17, if you could actually close out and reopen again and see if it updates to the latest version, point 0.18, which oh, I just yes. pushed out like literally not Ooh. even seven minutes ago. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, there's the cam. Gosh link. Uh, are you going to drop out a video again when you fix your... No, I don't think so. Sorry. That was... Sorry. All right. It did update to 18. Now close out of it again and make sure you can open it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Because um, I, I want to make sure it's everything's working and loading right for you. And if you can close it again and open it again, then you should be good to go and on version 18. No. No, you're not going to do that, or no, it didn't open. I'm assuming the second one. If so, then we might have to check some things again. Honeydew milkshake. Hmm. Tell you. Sorry. I'm just roster here. Any papers in the ground? Oh, <laughs> it's not a trick, Phoenix. Please try it. <laughs> um, 
anyway, well, we'll do some testing on our own. We have the, the previous copy and we're going to do some testing and make sure everything is working with the update sides because that is very important. And that is one of the things that's holding it back from it. Sweet, it works for you. Yay. Works for him. Um, what else? <laughs> we are. Uh, we do have a couple other things uh, going on. We're going to do some major updates to the definitions. Nick has been working on that for the past few days, and uh, expand the uh, expand our sources, and then um, get uh, get a regular schedule down for um, updating those. Even if there's like two or three. Can you can you do the re re connect on your headphones it's it's doing a lot of staticky stuff i can but it's probably just the weather and the internet here plus the kids plans the xbox with someone oh yeah go shut their xbox off um so anyone um, here hello you sound fine now so it was just that one time. yeah hmm. um so Eric asks if anyone here on the East Coast is prepped for the storm. Nick uh, just got in from prepping his house for the storm. I'm assuming he was tying down things and picking up stuff. stuff under the house, you know, chairs and stuff like that, garbage. Can. Yeah. Yeah, gosh, man, a lot of yard miscellaneous. So uh, it does look like it's probably not going to hit land as far as the eye goes. But we were talking this morning that it's actually a little bit more troublesome, all the rain that's going to come from this, because essentially the the rain is just going to sit on top of South Carolina, at least for a little while. And this time last year, you might remember that South Carolina had a big issue with flooding. Stuff from our area was coming all the way down to Columbia, Columbus, uh, South Carolina. And then it was going down to Charleston, South Carolina, and both of those cities were majorly flooded. We didn't have any flooding here, but it's got a long way to go. And I think that's going to be probably the bigger issue is that the the rain is going to be the, the worst part, the flooding and resulting rain from that. Because it, it's a really slow storm, so these rain clouds are just going to sit on top of us and just drench down rain. That's going to tear us up here because we're all you know luckily i'm on a hill but i probably won't be able to leave this hill for yeah that's true <laughs> um so you have no generator on this hill oh you have no generator yeah that's definitely something we still can't form one still can't get one. Oh look there they are they come in a box Pretty. They're cheaper, but they come in a box. You had to pay for that box, I'm sure. I think I can show off a little bit of what we're expecting here. Oh, I can't show it off with the it being green and having a green screen on. Let me turn that off here. So <laughs> this is what we're expecting. As far as weather-wise, you can see me, this little blue dot here, we're probably going to get all of that rain dumped on top of us. We're probably not going to have a lot of the hurricane winds or anything, but it does look like it's just sitting around Jacksonville and the Savannah and Charleston area are already getting heavy times of rain. So um, I think flooding is going to be the worst off of this, this storm here. Um, it already... Mostly got out of Florida, but it uh, it did have it on uh, uh, one death was in Florida, I think. Mm. Um, what do you mean you can't see the submit hash on 18? Should be able to. I'll look at that again. Um, anyway, well, thanks for that report. We'll look into it. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, California people are probably begging for the rain. Oh, uh, never mind. You found it. It was a little bit hidden, I bet. Um, 
<laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's get to some links and things. I, I think we'll all be fine. It's just the fear of drowning is probably the biggest thing for that. Um, I'm worried about the wind, mostly, because I'm on a, I'm on a hill. I'm great, great, but I'm surrounded by trees on a hill. Yeah, that is right. The trees thing and is probably the worst part. There's no land over there, and there's no land over there. Well, there's a little bit, but it's over across the water. But the 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 issue with yours, I would think, would be those trees aren't exactly like in solid ground. They're in like sand. I know ground. they'll be in saturated sand sandy ground. ground. Yeah, well, saturated on sand is actually a on the hill better. where the wind is. You know, the Wright brothers got their plane up over there because it's a hill, very windy. Yeah, but uh, saturated sand's a little bit. It's more like quicksand, so that's that would be better than dry sand and just wind, probably. I don't think his trees are going to sink. Well, his trees aren't going to sink, but I'm saying that the, the roots that are holding them in the sand, wet sand is harder to get out of than dry sand. So if it was just dry sand, they could be uprooted really easily, but oh, if yeah. it's wet sand... Life on a sandbar. Yeah. They say. I guess we'll find out if we see. Uh, if you see uh, Nick on Monday, we'll all be happy. <laughs> if you if you don't open your door and see Nick flying by on Monday, <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so I, I posted a link in there. Uh, the server ransomware. We tested that against uh, version eight. Thanks again, Phoenix, uh, for providing us with that sample. And uh, we were able to test it against uh, uh, Crypto Prevents Honeypot Detection, and it did not get a single legitimate file. It got blocked on purely the Honeypot files and worked perfectly and awesome. So we're extremely excited about that. And that is the latest revision of server. So it tried to go up against us and it lost lost very badly and uh, we made a lot of improvements to uh, the honeypot side of things so things should be working even better and faster and everything should be a lot nicer in it um, we're definitely liking the way it's going we're going to try to get some more videos out of different ransomware versus that honeypot stuff so uh, Michael was even impressed yeah it's hard to impress Michael so we were really glad about that <laughs> Uh, yeah. He was he was he was kind of he was almost speechless and that's about as good as you can do. <laughs> it, was, it was an impressive almost. performance. It was. Uh, so Phoenix has got some links for us here before the show as well. So let's go ahead and throw those in. Uh, Haven't tried Hitler two yet. Uh, features. Uh, we'll we'll give you an update as we test that. Okay. Um, Apparently, Windows 7 update breaks security essentials. Um, I guess they're trying to fix security essentials to be like it was on on the latest 10 version, maybe, and that's why it broke. But and what way? Eye out for that. Um, apparently, London police have arrested a Romanian ATM hacker who stole millions. That's good news. In what way? What? I'll just I'll just read it while you move on. Well, yeah. well, how does it break? How does it break when this uh, how, it just doesn't work at all? Or I did not read the article. I'm just repasting ah! the link. So. I I haven't had a chance to read all these. We articles. haven't had time. Yeah. Maybe Phoenix can read them or has read them. Uh, we've all been very very busy, and and we're apologies for that. These are links that Phoenix just posted to us. So oh I'm, shit. I'm just reposting Shoot. them so everybody can look oh, at gotcha. them. Oh gotcha. <laughs> I'm going off the headline. So, uh, he also has one about uh, Yahoo spying billboard. It would ID you, watch, and listen to your reactions to the ad. So, apparently, Yahoo thinks that they should get into that kind of thing. Probably not the best idea. Um, then, uh, Linux kernel eight point or 4.8.1 is out and stable enough for deployment. I'm guessing that point one is the fix that uh, Linus ranted about. Uh, the bug was actually, or the fix was worse than the bug on 4.8 and he was really upset about that. I guess that's what that point one revision was for. Uh, 
Microsoft is remaining silent on the Surface 3 battery issues, apparently. And I did see this article about the removed browsing traces with forget that page, which I don't know. I kind of, I was turned off by that after just reading over it. So I, I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Is um, there really a need for another app to do that? I mean, yeah, if you don't want a, a page to track you, you should open it up in incognito at the least, and then you shouldn't have to worry about the traces, I wouldn't imagine. Um, apparently, the U.S. officially attributes the DNC hack to Russia now. I'm sure they have their reasons. Um, Duo is replacing Hangout in Hangouts in Google's batch of pre-installed apps. What's Duo? Oh, Duo is their new chat thing, like Allo or whatever, I guess. Uh, then Phoenix also posted a great free. PC repair live CD called Media Cat DVD, a multi boot Linux DVD. And here's the link for that. Also has many free tools like Windows Recovery and a WinPE option as well. So you could run D7 in that WinPE option, I imagine. Wonder how easy it would be to add programs to that WinPE in their version. So there we go for those. Yeah, I'm sure Russia has feelings on those things as well. Um, yeah, I I don't know. Have have any of y'all tried the new Duo? What's a Duo? So it's no. a, so Google again changed its messaging. It can't figure out how it wants to message. So it has Allo, which is the SMS an assistant integrated one, and then Duo is supposed to be uh, the Hangouts replacement, possibly, and apparently they're going ahead and starting to replace Hangouts with that. But uh, apparently, I thought it was only a video calling app. Like, I thought that's all it did was just video calling. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, Duo's supposed to be the FaceTime killer from Google, which I... I honestly I that was feel just like, hangouts. I I honestly feel like they should stop trying to fix their communication stuff and just stick with one instead I of I wish they hadn't back. tried to fix it in the first place. It was awesome to begin with. Now it sucks. Yeah. They're 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 really hit hard doing hard there. It's not not good there. Um I did have some links that related to what uh some of those other links that were posted here. Uh, trying to see if we have them here. Oh, I didn't get to watch this yet, but uh, apparently on, I believe this episode, it was last night's episode of the Mike Tech Show, he said Crypto Prevent on, right? Um, yeah, that's what Al said. So we haven't gotten to watch this and confirm yet. I tried to start watching it, but Michael interrupted me and... Um, he didn't even really, like us on the message either. Yeah, uh, he didn't. I, I put the Ustream up there. Uh, but apparently, uh, Mike Tech Show uh, claimed Crypto Prevent was his favorite, uh, one of his favorite well, tools. One of his favorite tools, yeah. Yeah, so awesome. Never, Thanks for that, Mike. i something like that before, you know. Of course, he also never recommend. you know, he's like, a, I recommend you use the free one. You yeah. know, because he, he didn't. I don't know, recommend people spend money except unless they're paying him, I guess. I don't know, is that how that goes, you know? I don't know. I've I've watched I don't one watch of the shows, so yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I've only watched them once or twice, so to give any opinions on that, but um So uh Futures Tech Eric said he had something for you, Nick. Uh toggle dot com slash programming princess. Oh. Uh we do use toggle.com, so. Yeah, yeah. No, I track my time in that. Interesting, Get maybe. the princess. Ooh, interesting. 
G I T E. Get. <laughs> Get. Um, oh, so this is one of the links that I wanted to talk about uh, in relation to that you, you, Yahoo spying board. Apparently, uh, New York is going to start using facial recognition to catch terrorists. Um, I can see that turning out bad. Anybody else feel issues about that? Ah, oh, no way. No way. That's just going to be... It's only going to catch the bad guys. It's only going to stop the terrorists. It's not going to cause any inconvenience to the law-abiding public. It's not going to inconvenience any minority group versus any other group. Um, it's going to be perfectly uh, safe and effective. Oh, wait. Perfection isn't good with humans. Yeah. I wish Toggle would, like, I don't know, maybe not make Amex and fix this desktop client, which is super slow and didn't used to be. Uh, MIB says that uh, New York and Microsoft have had a project for years uh, talking about that. Um, I know that New York does have a lot of cameras all over the place now, so uh, the big board, dozens of screens, so that, that's more like the, the Yahoo thing about that. They, they did that in a movie. Um, uh, what was the name of that minority report, was it? Proctor, I, we had the same question. That was a movie. Where uh, Tom Cruise had to take his eyeballs out and get, him, get new eyeballs. Was yeah. that minority report? I guess, yeah. This is Tom Cruise. Sounds like it. Uh, yeah, I don't remember that. I don't remember the, the one with the place, yeah it's it's the one with the uh with the 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 is it? maybe it is psychics and stuff right yeah yeah the psychics yeah. and the computer yeah, and so the interface when and he something. went when he went on the run in that society everyone was tracked by their eyeballs so he went to one of the guys that he <laughs> had arrested a few more times <laughs> he had been arrested before and he told him to give him new eyeballs and he gave him new eyeballs and that crazy German chick was like the, the nurse assistant or whatever and then he ended up eating like a rotten sandwich. And okay, then, yes, uh, it's all coming back now uh, but just you, you saying eyeballs as many times as you said eyeballs in the few, past few sentences, it was amazing. You just said it just as many times as I did. It was amazing. Anyway, proceed. What about the eyeballs? What about the... They, they had that... They After he got new eyeballs, he was getting... Uh, he was walking down the street and all the billboards and everything around him were like yelling out some other person's name. And he was like, huh, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, that is me. I forgot. Um, great synapses of minority report. <laughs> I, I'm good at those. So. Um, hey, uh, Zombie Worm, are you here actually? Because I saved up some Raspberry Pi news just for when you're here. Uh, there's one with Oculus Pi, uh, where you can get uh, VR stuff to run on uh, Pi. And then there's one with uh, using Google Authenticator to uh, lock down your Raspberry Pi. So you can use the, the Google Auth app or the YubiKey auth app, if you have the YubiKey for that. Um, to So you enter a password in, and then it'll ask you to enter your Google Authenticator app, and you do that 30-second number thing and uh, be able to get in. So I thought those were two really cool ones. I think we also mentioned a Pi thing yesterday or the day before. So there were two. There's three things for you. I tried to save up some some Raspberry Pi stuff for you. Yeah, it was yesterday because Michael got all upset that they don't have an apple pie or you really didn't want a banana pie and some other things. So. I'm just now getting to where I can tolerate a really good but apple pie. Oh, I, always, eh. I, I like fresh it's fried apple. apple pies, but I don't really like apple baked apple pies. Yeah, why don't you cook an apple? Baked apple pies are good. Yeah, I like... I like apple pies. I like banana pies. Blueberry pies. Let's not be American. I don't like blueberry that. pies. You know what they used to say? Baseball and apple pies. <laughs> Betty Graham. I believe so. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of baseball either, but 
Not a fan. I, I'm not a fan of sports. Yeah, so I, I don't. Baseball's the good. worst because they're too good at what they do. They're just everything's too tight. You know? Baseball's the worst because it's like the most boring sports game they have. You can't even see the ball. It's so small. There's some other they're boring like sports games, but they're in other countries. So. Like I like it, watching kids play. At least football and basketball, there's like a little bit of action going on that you can. Yeah. You haven't seen boring on. until you've seen cricket. I was gonna say there's some other there's some other boring sports, but they're awesome. not in this country. Yeah. Well, you know, if you watch kids play sports, it actually gets exciting. Golf, I don't even consider because they screw up. You know, they don't know what they're doing. So. They're... Yeah, those are those are fun sports. Could yeah. be for kids, but golf, I don't even consider a sport. So. I didn't yeah. include that. Um, but hey, I guess bowling could be pretty boring to watch as well, and they consider that a sport. Among hey. people, but I don't watch. I don't consider <laughs> bowling a sport hey. either. So, hey, baked. <laughs> I, I, I don't eat my bowler. <laughs> Bake, baked apple pie with vanilla ice cream. Yeah, that's some country goodness. That is. That is. Very much oh, so. Definitely good. What's the deal with vanilla ice cream, anyway? It's good. I've what do you never mean? had apple pie with vanilla ice cream before. No, no, most pie. most pies are good with vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. It's because it, it's vanilla, like vanilla is called chocolate. No, vanilla is supposed to enhance the flavor of whatever you're eating it well, with. Throw some vanilla in it. I have mm -hmm. noticed that a lot of southern people like Georgia and Alabama area do eat vanilla ice cream with their apple pie. Ah, uh, Phoenix is coming. Uh, chat, yeah, Phoenix. I'm looking. I'm. I'm. I'm trying to look into that right now. I'm stop talking about pies and sports. <laughs> is 18 the current release? Or, yeah. Oops. Get your pumpkin pie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is pumpkin pie season, isn't it? I can deal with I'll, it. I'll go with a good pumpkin pie. Yeah, I don't like pumpkin pie. I'm not That's a big the fan of pumpkin flavored anything is when I'm eating pumpkin do you, pie. Do you eat pumpkin and anything else? Is there another? I, well, they got the pumpkin spice stuff. Well, these days I've they have pumpkin that, everything. Heard of like, yeah. I've heard of pumpkin spice beer, but yeah. Yeah, I've only ever. Pumpkin pie is all right. It's just cinnamon and stuff. I actually did have a pumpkin spice beer. It wasn't that bad. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of pumpkin anything. I'm not a big fan of Proctor's taste in beer anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Well, I did have a Sculpin for lunch today. Uh oh. Really? Nice. Yes. Good job. Went to pumpkin the pumpkin place. Everything. It's actually. It wasn't a habanero Sculpin, was it? No, they didn't, I haven't seen that around here. It, you know, so I, I don't really like the habanero sculpin that much. That's because you haven't <laughs> had more than one. Yeah. You said it was hot and you didn't like it. It burned you. Yeah, I could barely get through one. But you say it it it, it doesn't it gets it better after get, the first uh, glass. Maybe that's the well, alcohol. It's not thing. better <laughs> after the first. It just doesn't get like the heat does not. It doesn't compound. Yeah. It stays it flat lines and it does. You know. You get, yeah. You know, when I drank the one bottle of it i think the flat line side of it was not good so <laughs> i don't want to continue drinking that <laughs> same level like i imagine after the fifth or sixth one i wouldn't care what it was and maybe if i started off with five or six other ones and then moved to that i wouldn't care yeah you, you probably still care probably mm. it's it's a big change when you're not used to it you might have had a hot batch that time, though. You know, they're they're not always exactly the same. No pepper is the same. Heat. Pumpkin cider. Mm. I'm not a cider per fan. No, see, that's like, what you can do with apples is make cider. I like that. Yeah, apple cider is good, and uh, apple beer is good. Yeah, what? The apple hard cider, I guess, is what it's actually oh, called. Yeah, yeah. that stuff that's, makes that's my stomach. Beer. Yeah, it's not beer. It's yeah, it's wine. cider. It's a hard cider, is what it is. It's not, it's more it's of a not wine. wine or beer. It's like a weak wine. Um, I don't. It could be a harder one or a heavy wine too. Cider crypt. Blend. <laughs> cider crypt. Mm. <laughs> 
Um, so while I look at this uh, V18 thing that uh, Phoenix was bringing up, here's a one-legged robot that Disney invented that jumps around like a uh, uh, Tigger. Hey, uh, am I able to share my screen, Proctor? Are you going to be able to? Oh, you just walked away, so no. Yeah, I can do that. It might be. That is so tough to try and read and say in my head. So oh, Phoenix, you do know that the um, submit new hash button, the submit new hash in crypto I was program about to show them. is under the policy tab, the policy editor tab, and then submit new hash next to the user hash okay. definitions. Um, so uh, I'm seeing uh, 18. Um, I, you do have to, the upload bio. Michael, Michael, hold on. I'm just going to share my screen and show it to him. Okay. Uh, Proctor, you good for me to share? Yeah, go ahead. All right. So that should be the desktop. Yep. And waiting for it to show up on the stream. Yeah, the one-legged robot was pretty cool, I thought. <coughs> uh, stream. Uh, almost. I'll just move it up here because you didn't fit the screen, but that's okay. Um, don't do that now. So it's, it's fine. So uh, Phoenix, this is the version 18. If you go to policy editor, submit new hash. So it's all the way over here, submit new hash. The upload button is grayed out until you browse for a file, which we'll go ahead and browse for one. And then you can upload file here. So that should be where it is, and it shouldn't have changed on you. We haven't changed this one in several, actually since the version it was added. So that one should be all still good. The only time you wouldn't get the upload file, I believe, is if uh, it shows up on the Foolish IT MD5 or Foolish IT SHA-256. Um, yeah, if you don't see that tab at all, there might be something else going on. So, um, you're not on XP or Vista, right? Just checking. Because I did change how those tabs are done with XP and Vista, but all right, I'm going to go back to the non-shared screen. That sounds pertinent. Yeah. I was able to find it on the install I just did, Brantley. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Phoenix did an upgrade, so he might it might have done something different for him. So oh, okay, yeah, I did. Um, I uninstalled and reinstalled. Yeah, try if it if since it is beta, we'll go ahead and fall back to the uninstall and reinstall and see if everything works then. But it shouldn't have had that, but we'll see. All right, and other news, it looks like uh, Philadelphia has shut down Uber and Lyft. Um. Uh, Philadelphia court ordered Uber and Lyft to stop operating in the city. So, yeah. And the two transportation companies don't plan on complying immediately is what it says in the first top of that article. No, oh, yeah. Complying with the law is optional, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's most of the time. Apparently, yes. <laughs> So I don't see why they, they hate them so much. I think it's more just for the stupid taxi people are making it a problem so that they can continue to overcharge people. Yeah, Philly and ta Philly Taxi and Limo are strong, and that's probably what's going on is that they're buying out the government and forcing them to close down something that's better, faster, and cheaper. It's like usually you can't get all three of those together, but with those kind of services, you can. Funny enough, huh? Uh-huh. So uh, tech support scams are apparently using uh, new tricks to hold browsers hostage. And uh, this article is coming from Bleeping Computer. I didn't get a chance to read through the full thing, but it looks like they are saying to use Task Manager to end task. And I will go ahead and throw out, why do that when you can have kill them all 
in the task for sure and not have to worry about it, which is actually a feature on the latest crypto prevent. You can even have the system tray, the quick access notification tray running. You can always right click and kill task immediately and it'll be far better than just trying to use the task manager for it. So uh, highly would recommend checking that out instead. So yeah, the deal is that within the window it hijacks your cursor, and but all you gotta do is move your cursor outside of the window and it's fine, apparently. Yeah, but we would recommend having uh, kill them all uh, instead of using the task manager. Oh yeah, of course their solution of course is yeah, absolutely. I wasn't dis I wasn't disagreeing with what I wasn't disagreeing with what you were 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 uh, you know <laughs> suggesting there but I'm just saying that his uh, the the issue is just really to 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 you know if users were a little bit I guess you know willing to move their cursor a little bit more they would wouldn't have the problem as much. But, Yep, and MIB points out the uh, the scam in India that just got shut down. Apparently, there were um, fake call centers in India that were able to cheat them or cheat Americans out of almost fifty-five million dollars in one year. Um, I think they said the scam brought in more than about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a day, and essentially they were just posing as. IRS people and claiming that they the people owed back taxes and needed to pay immediately. Apparently, people just pulled out their credit cards and gave them money. So, uh, please do not fall victim to IRS scam calls like that. More often than not, the IRS is not going to call you. They're going to send you a crap ton of letters first off, and they're usually going to be certified letters first off, and then they might start calling you, but you'll have a whole pile of mail before that happens, so. Um, I thought this was pretty cool. Tank, you might like this. Building a uh, simple camp stove from a tin can. You can even cook an egg on it. That's a tiny little uh, frying pan, though, for a single egg. Um, pretty cool, though. And looks like you use wax and cardboard to make it. I thought it was a pretty cool. Oh wow, that looks like it takes a lot of amount of time to do very little. Yeah, but you can have it as an emergency thing. Yeah, it's an emergency prep thing, kind of thing. Oh, my battery's dying. I thought it was pretty nifty. I mean, it's nifty. I guess if you just wanted to click an egg. Yeah, just one egg. Um, I'd be interested to see how long it lasts, though. And if it's enough to boil water, that's that's a pretty good thing. And yeah, that would be nice. It doesn't look like it's something like you have. I mean, it's just a small can, so it's not going to take up a lot of space. Something you could have right and ready to use. Um, looks like it would be kind of weatherproof as well, so you wouldn't have to worry about water if it was raining or drenched outside. Maybe your tent has a hole in it. Um, I thought it was a pretty good one. Yeah, it's a nifty little thing. Uh, nifty. Zombie Worm D7X uh, is being slowly released as we go. Uh, you might already notice that Kill 'em All has been uh, out for a little while with D7X code. Then also the latest revision has been uh, the filter module in version uh, 8 has been updated, and that's based on D7X code, technology, platform, whatever you want to call it. Did you push that one out? That one's pushed out and going out there. So uh, since point seventeen and point eighteen, the since last night and this evening, uh, both of those are filter module based on D7X code. So try that one out. Go ahead and try the crypto prevent beta out. Try the filter module stuff out. Should work a ton better than it was working in version seven, and that's please try that out. Partly because it's based on D7X code. So and let us know because. That's going to be a lot of custom app code, though. But that's based on, you know, the running. Yeah, and you said that even relates back to some fixes for Kill 'em All as well, and it does. I need to push launching some things. 
So we got a bunch of good stuff there. Um, I thought this was pretty awesome. I did not realize that it was because of uh, the election season, but apparently something's going on on Sunday night. So HBO decided to go ahead and push out uh, Westworld Episode 2 prior to that. They actually released it this morning on HBO Now, HBO Go, and HBO On Demand. So you can go ahead and watch the second episode of it. Again, I watched the first episode on uh, this past Sunday, and it is amazing. Absolutely great show. Continues the excellent tradition that the original movie uh, did. So, Mikey likes it. Yeah, I think it is excellent. And even more exciting, I did not realize that this was coming this soon, but October 21st, Netflix is going to release season three of Black Mirror. And if you have not seen any of the Black Mirrors up till now, definitely go check out Netflix because they have the first two seasons, which were three episodes apiece, and then a movie length episode that's like their Christmas special. But that show is awesome. And it looks like Netflix is continuing with the great tradition that uh, has been Black Mirror as well. So very excited that that's coming out apparently they've been cast for four or 12 episodes this season has six so apparently they're going to have a season uh four as well so very excited about that i'm posting the direct trailer there uh sheree i've watched the latest halt and catch fire it's awesome i really like this season um the whole stock thing, I think, was this past one, and then the internet thing, and the the kid getting caught by the FBI. He's like, "Oh, I covered my tracks," and Joe Miller is just like, "Uh, oh, you have no idea, do you?" And he didn't. He did not have any idea. No one else here. No one else here watches *Halt and Catch Fire*. I've tried to tell him how awesome that show is and that it really relates to what we're doing, but I. Thank you know you. how behind I am in watching television. I thought you are always telling us to watch that other one. I, don't know, I thought it was something different. You were telling Mr. Me. Robot, you should definitely watch. Halt Silicon and Catch Valley? Fires. Oh, Mr. Good. Robot. Okay. Silicon Valley is also another good one. Those Gosh, are you just got to stop. Top three. You got time to watch TV over here. Westworld is a good one. Um, watch that, though. Black Mirror is a good one. All of them are good ones. I will watch Westworld at some point. What's that come on? What is that on? HBO. Hmm. Well, nothing anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you got to catch up on uh, Z Nation, too. Their new season of that's really good, too. I know. Isn't there a new um, Ash vs. Evil Dead or something else? That, I like? that is not out yet, is it? I don't believe so. Hmm. I want to say they're more closer to the Halloween time, about the time uh, uh, whatchamacallit comes back out, Walking Dead. Um, Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2 comes out October 2nd, so it is already out. Oh, man. Their next okay. one's coming. The second episode is coming out on the 9th. So, Who's yeah, they're coming out on Sundays. That stars? I do not know what network that stars. one's on. I subscribed to the free trial with Amazon Prime the other day uh, to watch something, a movie. Hey, Al joined us. Welcome, Al. Is that Al Al that told us about Mike Duck Show? Al? I believe that's Al Al. I know it's Al Al from Saturday Al. Is it oh, Al? Al, you were the Al that told us about the Mike Tech show, right? We it is, in. yeah. Oh, okay. There was there are several Saturday Al's, you know. I know there's, but there's only one true Al from. Saturday. I know Al Bundy. No, this Al from Saturday Al is oh, true so Al. I'm saying Al Bundy. Al Bundy is a true Al as well. But, a true Al. Um, as far as Saturday Al's go, this house is the true Al. I didn't meet this, the other Irish owl until later. The main owl. The main owl. There we go. Um, 
<laughs> so uh, another interesting link here. Uh, speaking of halt and catch fire and the internet stuff, uh, see how Comcast is trying to ruin it for everyone. So Comcast is about to uh, roll out one terabyte cap data caps to a lot more of their people, actually a majority of their people uh, coming on November 1st. So if you're on Comcast and you get more than a terabyte of data per month, you might be paying a little bit more come soon. Uh, speaking of that, it also looks like the FCC wants to uh, have ISPs ask you before they give out your data. I'm not sure why that's not already a consumer thing in general. Because it's, but, yeah. But, because uh, I, I think if I give a company data, they should probably ask me if they should, they're allowed to share it again, like not just hide it in some little contract, which I'm automatically apt into, opted into or something. Um, I thought this was a pretty interesting one as well, where, uh, one terabyte's a lot for regular people, but if you're doing like, so if you got five kids and you all have a Netflix subscription and you're all watching Netflix all day, every day, you're gonna go through a terabyte in probably under two weeks at the, the least. You probably will go, well, at the most, you'll probably go through it in under a week if you all watch Netflix all day, every day. Um, one terabyte goes real fast when you're streaming high quality video. Um, but I thought this was an interesting link as well. Uh, so some 12 year old thought he was signing up for AdSense on his YouTube channel. Turns out he actually signed up for AdWords instead and now has a $100,000 bill from uh, It got thrown out. It got thrown out. <laughs> it got thrown out. I right. would hope it would, but I don't know. I, I, how, does the, uh, how do you confuse that when sure. you have to actually use AdWords and create yeah. campaigns and such? And then implement I, he yeah. probably thought that's what you were supposed to do when you had AdSense, is that you were just... It tells you the dollar amount, the whole... Why does it... I mean, well, he probably thought, like, this is how much he's making. So he was like, oh, man, this is real easy to make money on. I could just buy this CD word, buy this word. cost per click everywhere on the... He's 12, too, so... Can I take that? That's why I got through out. It's not because he, he didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, it's because he was 12. <clears throat> um, I thought this was a, a pretty cool uh, life hack. Johnny, what are you doing? Stop. She's like tearing down the wall or something. Um, <laughs> what bother reading? Yeah, I thought this was a uh, a pretty cool life hack. You can use a, a balloon to make pouring easier. So the video they have there shows off. Uh, Do you need a video for that? Yeah, I, I didn't know what it meant either until I watched the video. I was like, oh, that's how they're doing it. As soon as you said it, I was like, oh, yeah. Can you put a balloon on the, the, the end of the cap and then put a hole in the balloon and it pours out nice and smoothly? Oh. It's pretty nice. Um, there was another life hack here, which I had always wondered why curtain rods didn't go all the way to the wall. Like, it kind of seems dumb to have a curtain rod that has that. But this one, uh, Umbra's Twilight Rod Lightning, or twilight rod takes curtains all the way to the wall. I'd always wondered um, why curtain rods didn't go to the wall. So um, regular curtain rods, it just goes straight out and you have like that area in between the wall and the curtain on either side. Well, I, These curtain rods go all the way so you can take your curtain all the way to the wall. I've never... Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't see the difference. I... Someday, someday you'll understand. I. 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 I, I, I don't like light, so that's why I. I. I prefer it. Um. Yeah, right. 
So uh, apparently uh, BitTorrent has made a major change in its company's direction. They fired the CEO and have closed down uh, the BitTorrent Now uh, streaming service for video. So they're getting out of the media game. And I guess focusing on what started them off there. Um, but yeah, that's a major change for them. And let's see how that affects the rest of the world. I never actually even did get to look into the the BitTorrent now streaming news or videos or anything. Tech Guy Chat. Tech Guy Chat. Question. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tech Guy. Having problems removing Crypto Prevent. Do you have a special uninstall tool? Uh, we do not, but what are you having... Uh, what are you having issues removing? The policies or the program itself? I was going to say, don't have the event viewer open. There's a DLL that that would uh, the event viewer keeps open for the mm -hmm. resource, for the message IDs. If the event viewer open, the uninstall will hang. Is it, and also just to make sure, is this version 7 or the version 8 beta? Um, as far as an uninstall goes, there's only a couple places you would have to make sure to uninstall and or to completely wipe it from the system. And I'll get the first one here in just a second. I got to switch over so I can make sure I get the right registry location here. I do have one other person, and it's been something I've been unable to reproduce in my testing, but I do have one other person reporting um, an issue with services um, so that you do an uninstall and they restart and the services continue to reload. Um, for 7 or 8? For This is the 8 beta, rather. I'm sorry to have cl not clarified. He's talking about 7, so it's probably a different issue. Okay. Well, thanks for bringing that up randomly. And sorry, I didn't see his... I, don't, I didn't see his, his it's 7 response. But, but go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, one second, uh, tech guy. I'll get you the, the registry key. Otherwise, the only other two places you'd have to worry about would be uh, the... Well, wait, well, I'm interested in hearing why it doesn't uninstall. Like, what happens? Is it? Okay. Let's find that out, too. Mm. Uh, blacklist. Where is that key? Ah. Gosh, that's a that's a shame that Michael actually hit the nail on the head one time with something random. Apparently, so we just tune him out. What'd you say, Michael? <laughs> he said that the services didn't uninstall, but that was for eight, not seven. He said. Uh, but it, uh, it is eight beta. Same. Eight this. Ah, there we go. Oh, yeah, so it is the same you. thing. Yeah, that's on uh, you. I'm out. <laughs> yes. So it's for the the services aren't getting removed. Yeah, I I couldn't get I couldn't reproduce that in in my case, and it sounds like in Tech Guy's case, uh, he's having the same um, issue. Um, there, the the workaround for the other gentleman who's reporting this to me is, um, I believe, to set it to none and then uh, apply protections and restart, and then to um, reinstall on top of it or. Well, if he's trying to uninstall you and the services are causing a problem, just go into the services under computer management and stop them. Um, you're not going to be able to use task manager to end the process. You're going to have to go to the computer management services, stop them, mm -hmm. and you should be able to uninstall and everything should uninstall fine. But usually at this point, the uninstall has already failed, so the uninstall has run and removed uh, what files it could. Um, but it apparently neglects the registry entries for the services and the actual files for the services. Well, it wouldn't be registry entries for the services. It would just be stopping okay. the service. So it's restarting. The services are restarting. 
Yeah, so if the services are coming back up, just go in and stop the services, and then you can go into program files and delete the 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 executable, and then you can delete services with a command here. Let me see if I can get it here. He's gonna. He, he probably doesn't have that executable that does that either. That what? executable is is part of. Is that part of Visual Studio? What deleting services? Dang, it should be using default. I um, I was anticipating you were gonna send them something. You probably send them something different. Forget it. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is. Oh yeah, that's right. You never heard of this program before. You mentioned that, Michael. So SC delete will delete a service, and you can see the the syntax there. But essentially, you would just need SC delete. Yeah, Michael hasn't. Um, SC delete and then the name of the service. And I can get you the names of those services here. Um, oh, he said that did it. Thanks, guys. I'll just go ahead and put this info out for other people, too. But I got to say, we ought not to need that. <clears throat> What version was he on inside? No. Right. It should not be happening with this version. I know some th I did a whole lot of service work in a previous version and had to change some things with how it was handled. And that possibly could have related to what you're getting there, but it should not be doing it here. But I'll make sure Michael does a whole lot more testing on that and make sure. I, uh, I, I, no guess zombie I, room. I have not seen that. Uh, mouse detector, Raspberry Pi, ultrasonic sensor. So that's a, a mouse trap, essentially, controlled by Raspberry Pi, I'm assuming. That looks cool. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Hmm. <laughs> that's uh, neat, I suppose. Hey, that's a that's a very that's like a luxury mouse trap I would call it. Um, that yeah. thing that it, you're definitely not intending to try to kill the mice uh, with this. Well, they've had several other ones of those. Um, I like the uh, the two liter bottle mouse trap. The they're called humane mouse traps, Michael. No, there are. I mean, yeah, they're they're. I'm well aware of mouse traps that don't kill. Um, you know, they're they're out there. They're just not usually that. You, you drive it out to the country too. I live in the country. Michael just takes oh. it outside. Well, you're screwed. And then it comes right back inside. Yep. <laughs> he says he's not a very good programmer, so Michael will be fine. So that's the uh, the two liter bottle uh, and mousetrap. I think that one's probably a lot cheaper, and I got some other things I could do with my pie instead of that. Um, but we have reached our hour time limit for the day. I'll go ahead and drop one last link in here. Michael might appreciate this. Electronic sticky notes. Michael is the only person I still know that's under the age of 85 that still uses sticky notes. So, uh, Michael, maybe you can switch to electronic ones. And then you want... Hey, don't those come with Windows 7? Yes, they they do. Do. Sticky notes are in part of Windows 10, he, too, by the way. I use sticky notes. Michael you, uses Johnny. sticky notes on Windows 10 and Windows 7. I, 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 I only happen to know that because I was that was an issue with uh, with the beta program filtering for Crypto Prevent uh, 8 that I was tackling recently. Sticky notes wouldn't relaunch. Hmm. Got it fixed. Oh, it does not record in infrared. You're right. That one does not. The humane one doesn't. That I, the two-liter bottle doesn't record. Um, but not a problem, tech guy. I'm uh, glad we were able to work it out there without having to get too much into it. Um, mm. If you want to install the latest version and try it again, let us know how it goes. Um, we should have the auto-updating fixed. And like I said, I did do a lot of work on the services. I want to say I have it actually listed here in the known issues. Uh, 
Uh, so with point 12, I did some major changes to the services. And with point six, I updated the services installed and start routine stuff. So I think point 12 was where I made a lot of changes to how the services were handled and operated and managed. So that might be if you try point 18, it shouldn't have any of those issues. And that's the latest one there. So, um, Definitely, if you do, always feel free to report back here. Um, if not, you can, or if we're not on the air, you can just report with the contact form on the page. Be more than happy to assist and help out that way. So, otherwise, we will be back on Monday. Unless, did anyone else have anything they wanted to throw out real quick? No? Once? Twice? Ah! Good, good. All right. Oh, thanks, guys, for uh, joining something. us. Uh, it's another good week. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you all next Monday. Oh, I know what I wanted to throw out. Michael. What? <laughs> that was it. <laughs> you just did it right there. Uh, <clears throat> um, Happy Friday. Do this people Day on Monday. Thank you, uh, Futures Tech Cider. Um, <laughs> is, in, yeah, yeah. Excellent. I didn't know there was a. I mean, does all do all countries have one of those? I don't know, but uh, tech guy said he thinks the guy had several versions. He's got the latest one installed now, so awesome. Phoenix points out that live CD D72 works perfectly well on, so awesome on that. And uh, Phoenix also dropped in some great drone footage, as he puts it. But otherwise, everyone will pick up on Monday. I'm not sure what we're going to do for our Focus Monday show. Michael, are you ready to do the, the Land Turtle update? Mm, might be yeah. able to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, could, um, I, I, could, I could try. All right. So we'll, uh, we'll, have a, we'll have some sort of Focus show on Monday morning at 8 a.m. Otherwise, uh, if you do have anything or want to talk to us, feel free to jump in on that day, and we'll spend some time talking with you on that as well. But we'll be back then, Monday at 8 a.m. Otherwise, hope everyone has a great rest of their weekend, and we will see you all later. Take us on out, Proctor. Bye, Internet. Internet.